So again, welcome out to tonight's webinar. Again, my name is Shedrick White. I'm actually a director with Planet Marketing, uh, and I'm an Intel Travel representative. And so again, we want to thank people from chiming in from all across the country. We're flat out excited, and we want to welcome to tonight's Getting Started Game Plan. And as we get started, let me show you this. Okay, let me get my presentation working. Okay, as we get started, guys, what we want you to understand is we want to give you the purpose of why we're why you're on tonight's call. Number one, we want to give you an understanding of your business and your business model. I think that's essential. You joined, you're excited, uh, you got started with the person that invited you out, and I'm sure you have some questions. Uh, but we also want to help you establish a game plan. You know, we tr we truly believe without a plan, nothing worthwhile can be accomplished. And so it's not that most people uh, 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 set out to fail, but they fail to plan. And that's what we understand. And so what we want to do is just take a few moments to help you establish a game plan. If you think about it in business, they have what you call a business plan. In sports, they have what you call a game plan. Well, just like you start your business, so guess what you need? You need a game plan. And that's what we're going to help you establish tonight. So having said that, the first thing I think is essential that you understand is the business model. You know, you have planet marketing and you have IntelliTravel. Guys, when you guys started, you had the ability to have two businesses under one umbrella. And let's start with planet marketing. Planet marketing is a marketing company. We just started nine months ago. Uh, and what we sell exclusively is IntelliTravel travel agencies. So we sell IntelliTravel travel agencies. And what we do is we recruit reps to sell the IntelliTravel travel agencies. IntelliTravel is a full-fledged, licensed, and bonded travel company. It's been in business for over 25 years. What do they sell? Travel. So as a travel agent, you earn commissions to put together trips, navigating people around the world. And so IntelliTravel sells travel. Planet Marketing, Planet Marketing sells travel agencies. You have the ability to choose. Again, you can do one or you can do both. Now, we encourage you to do both. I want to explain why you may why you want to do both. And it's essentially we explain this to you. As a marketing, as a rep, we exclusively sell the travel agency. So to get started, it's nineteen ninety five. But when you pay nineteen ninety five, that gave you the ability, the licenses, the the license or the ability to sell the franchise. Now, you don't earn any money when you sign up a rep, but you do have the ability to basically share this business or almost franchise like a licensing fee. And to maintain and run your business, you get a website, you get back-end support, you get customer service. But to maintain and run your business, guys, it's only nineteen ninety-five. So sometimes people say, well, I want to be a rep because they look at the price and they say, I can afford that. But the challenge is when you just become a rep but you don't own the IntelliTravel agency, when you try to talk to somebody and you talk to them about the business that you're trying to sell them and you don't own it, you lose credibility. You can't sell somebody something that you don't believe in enough to own it yourself. And then I often have people say, well, you know, I only, Mr. White, I want to focus on travel. I love to travel. I don't really want to do the marketing side. And we totally respect that. But let me tell you why you might want to. What we want you to understand as an tele-travel agent, you can sell travel. You can put together trips, and you can make money booking travel. But what I want you to explain is if you came across somebody like myself and you asked me to be your customer, I would. But once I saw it, I would decide, hey, how do I do what you do? Now, because you're only a travel agent, you couldn't sell me the business. And guess what? If you sold this business to me and I was able to build an organization, do you understand you would lose out on thousands and tens of thousands of dollars? So, guys, we want you to understand that we think the best option is for you to do both. $199 and $59 a month, but there are two companies. Guys, you get not one, you get two companies. And so we just want to take a quick second to explain that to you now. I want to give you a disclaimer. Tonight's webinar is strictly a planet marketing webinar. Now, let me tell you this up front. IntelliTravel has a, a webinar when you get started. You get your, your website. They send you your username, your login, password. So we encourage you uh, to, to, in fact, they have webinars on Tuesdays. They have conference calls on Thursdays. So we encourage you, if your focus is more travel, if your focus is you want to really book travel, we encourage you to get actually on, uh, plug into IntelliTravel and uh, learn everything there is about travel. They have conference calls. They have webinars. They have vendor trainings. Everything you need to be successful as a travel agent. But I do want to let you know that tonight's presentation will be a marketing presentation in terms of what do you need to do to get off to a fast start? What do you need to do to get your return on investment? What do you need to do to be able to share this business with somebody else? Again, you just get, you just got started. So what we want to do is provide this training for you so that you can be educated about what to do and how to grow your business. So getting started, the first thing we want you to understand, and we want to let you know this is going to treat this like a class. And in the class, we want to let you know you have a textbook. So your textbook you see on the screen is a book called GoPro. And the author of this book is Eric Worre. And this book is giving you the seven steps to becoming a network marketing professional.
Yes, we're a marketing company. And so that's a book that you need to get. So just like if it was class in college and they told you this is your textbook, guys, this is the textbook that you need to get. So, again, you can go on Amazon and order it, get with your success coach, and I'll tell you more who that is. But guess what? You want to become a professional professional. You want to go from being an amateur to a professional. So the first thing is you see the bullet points. You want to understand that this is a profession. Very similar to if you an athlete, guess what? You have people who are football players, basketball players, but they've been spending years in mini camps, spending years, summers, practicing, developing their profession, developing their craft. And now that they're making big time incomes because they spent years. Well, a lawyer will spend years uh, practicing or studying law, going to school to get their degree and then practice. And guess what? In order to be successful, doctors, years of residencies. Well, I say that because a lot of people get started and they don't understand that this is a true profession, but you got to treat it as such. Also, you got to be willing to put the time in to learn your craft. Guys, it is a business, so you have to put the time in to learn your craft. you got to master the fundamental skills. That's why you need to get this book because there's seven skills that you need to learn in order to be successful. You need to learn how to invite. You need to learn how to do the presentation. You need to learn how to follow up. There's skills. But the great thing about it is skills can be learned. Skills can be developed over time through practice and repetition. I also want to tell you up front, you got to attend every function you qualify to attend. What does that mean? Guys, again, if you were in college and, and you had a, a, an advanced class, if you didn't go to class and get take and, and, and participate, you could expect to pass the test. And so likewise, you need to attend every function that you qualify to attend. Also, you want to study. Guys, that means you want to read. You know, just like in class, you want to study ahead of time. But guess what, guys? You want to have fun. We're in a fun business, guys. We're, we're going to travel. We're going to save me. We're, we're going to have fun. But we want to let you know that guess what you do you need to go professional. Now, I want to share this up front so I can get you the right mindset. Most new business partners or new associates, what happens is, Rachel, they overestimate what they can do in the first 60 days. What do I mean by that? See, Vicky, they get started. They say, oh, my goodness, this is, I'm so excited. And, and, and they just think in the first 60 days they're going to make hundreds of thousands of dollars. And if that happens, we're happy for you. We want that to happen. But that's not what happens with most people. We understand it takes time. But you know what happens? They underestimate what they can accomplish in 12 to 18 months. And thus, guess what? They, they get discouraged and they want to quit. And so I want to tell you this up front because guess what? It is a process. I want you to understand that uh, you see people who are very, very successful. You see people who are making more in a month than they made in a year, such as myself. But I've been doing this industry, honestly, for over 10 years. And so I don't want you to think that you just got started and I don't want you to have the wrong appreciation for the business and not understand that it's a profession. And then you get discouraged and you want to quit. That's why we put together this training. That's why we put together this webinar so we can help you prepare you, so we can help equip you. But they underestimate where they can be in 12 months. They underestimate where they can be in 18 months. And, and so, guys, what if you put the time in? What if a year from now to date, what if you was making a six-figure income? What if you – see, but what if you quit in month three? You got to give yourself time. You got to give yourself – you don't even go to college and take one semester and then expect to get your degree. Well, likewise. But here's what happens. We got to go from being an amateur to a professional. And let me tell you the difference. See, uh, uh, Sh Sh Shereen, an uh, amateur will do it till they get it right. But a professional, because they develop their skill, they'll master and they'll do it till they can't get it wrong. And so I want you to understand, guys, you got to commit to the process. You got to commit to the process, uh, 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 Sherlyn. See, see, Lawrence, you got it's a process, but you got to, in the, while you're going through the process, you're developing your skill set. And you're going to go from being an amateur to a professional. Does that make sense? Well, let's move forward. Having said that, guys, I'm really excited. What we're going to do is we're going to help you focus on results. As a representative with Planet Marketing, it's very similar to, let's just imagine you hired a trainer to in the gym to hit, hit your, fi your fitness goals. Whether you want to lose weight, whether you want to tone up, whatever it is, you hired a trainer. You pay, you're paying a trainer, and guess what's going to happen? They're going to meet you. They're going to find out what you want to accomplish, and they're going to help you, but they're going to stretch you. They're going to have you doing things that's going to uh, uh, put resistance against your muscles. You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna have to put work in, but you're not going to like why you're going through the process, but you're going to like the results. Or even if you hired a financial coach, a, a financial counselor or a life coach, guess what? To get out of debt, they're going to tell you, no, you can't spend that. You can't do this because you got big goals. So, therefore, they're going to challenge you. Well, likewise, I need your permission up front to allow the person that invited you into this business, your success coach. I need, you, I need your permission to allow them to stretch you. I need your permission to allow them to push you. Why? So that you can reach your goals. So, so you can reach your, your, your financial goals, right? And so in order for you to grow your business, guys, here's what I need you to understand. You need to know your business. The measure tool of business is to make a profit. The reason that you're here at the end of the day is to make a profit.
Yes, you're going to like the environment. Yes, you're going to like the culture. Yes, you're going to have a lot of fun. And those all those things are present. But the reason that you, you got started, the reason that you should be in business is the measure tool of business is to make a profit. So what do I want you to understand? In order to know your, in order to know your business or grow your business, you got to know your business. So, again, this is the Planet Marketing uh, Overview. And in doing so, guys, you have a website. We want to challenge you to go through every link on your website. We want you to click on every tab, click on every link, read it. Reading and write, just read your website. Also, we want you to log into your website using your, your username, your password. We want you to log into your back office. And we want you to understand, click on virtual office. You have different tools and reports. They just put a new report back there, a fall-off report. I mean, it's just so many tools that you have at your fingertips. But if you don't go through your back office, you, you won't develop the posture. When you understand that this, what this business costs you, you see what you get, you're going to be like, man, I got all this for this price? Man, I got over. You have a calendar of events. You have uh, tools. You have resources all in your back office. Well, guys, again, using the concept of class, if I told you this was a math class and you, and you had a, a, a child in class and, 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 you, and they told your child that they would need a calculator in order to pass this class, you would invest and get your child that calculator. Well, likewise, guys, what I want to challenge you in order to be successful in our business, keep, you're going to need your mobile app. Now, the mobile app is really powerful because what it allows you to do is allows you to, uh, number one, see your business from the comfort of your phone. It allows you to, as you meet people, to uh, send out videos to them directly from the comfort of your phone. Also, what it allows you to do is see the counter of events, get news fees, all from your phone. And so if you send out the video to somebody, understand they see the video, you can see how much they watched of it. That's powerful. But guess what? When you go to your back office, you'll see a green button under Quick Links, and it says Get mobile app now. And guess what? The great news is it's only a dollar. So it's so affordable. You get to purchase your mobile app. It's only a dollar, four ninety five a month. But you're going to need this tool in order to be successful. When we get to the part that we talk about and show you how to really market your business, how to really push your business out there, this tool will come in very handy. Also, I want to let you know or make you aware of another uh, a tool that now that you got started, the company, now that they have your email, is going to send you this on Friday to your email. But you don't have to wait till Fridays in order to see what's going on in the company. I want to encourage you, particularly the brand-new individuals, we have a blog. And this blog is professionally done by the uh, staff at Planet Marketing. And what, what it does is it kind of gives you abreast of what's going on in the company. It lets you know of upcoming announcements. It lets you know different feature stories of different people who are having success in the company. And, guys, what I want you to understand is this will definitely not only encourage you, inspire you, but what it will do is allow you to really take your business to the next level. So I encourage you. I actually share this with representatives or pros, potential prospects because I want to know what's going on in my company and also share it, to, particularly the success stories. So having said that, let's quickly move on. What I want you to understand, Karen, are three ingredients that you must possess in order to be successful in this business. Amy, there are three, three ingredients that you must have. The first one is you've got to have a burning desire. If you're taking notes, please write what's in bold down, a burning desire. A burning desire, you must be driven by a white hot burning desire to accomplish your goals and achieve your why. And I'm going to touch on that. Number two, the number two ingredient you must have, Belinda, is you got to be coachable. What that means, you got to be willing to listen to the people who are going to assist you and guide you. Number three, you got to be willing to have a great work ethic. You got to be willing to do the work, even when you don't feel like it. These are the three ingredients that you're going to need if you want to be successful. So as we go forward, let's talk about the first one. What's your why? See, Aquarius, what I understand is, what's your why? Now, why is an acronym, W-H-Y. If you break that down, each letter is, represents a word. And so we got to understand what your why is. It's essential. In order for us to help you take your business to the next level, in order for us to help you accomplish your goals, in order for us to help you uh, become successful, we must understand what your why is. And we want to help you discover your why. Now, Candace, this isn't easy as it looks, but the why is stands for what has you. When I say what has you, it may be an organization. Uh, you may have a passion or a heart where you want to help uh, uh, women or, um, you know, men, shelter, homeless, whatever. It's something that's driving you, something that, that, that that's your passion. Or it stands for who has you. Amy, see, that's important. It may be a, a child. It may be a parent. It may be a, a loved one. It may be a, a, a sibling or somebody who maybe they, they, they have a certain ailment or a certain dis a disability, and that's what drives you. You see people who, who, who raise money for cancer. You see people who raise money for why? Because they're driven, right? Uh, or what's hurting you? You know, the why stands for what's hurting you. I got this from Mr. Stewart. But, but what is it that, that, that's compelling you? What is it that, 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 you know, you may not know what you want, but you know what you don't want. 
You know, I could just be very honest and transparent. I remember there was times when I was so frustrated because I didn't have enough money to really meet my needs. I was frustrated. That was hurting me, having to tell the loved ones that I couldn't do the things, and I felt less inadequate. So I don't know what your why is, but here's what I want to challenge you to do. You're just getting started. I want you to take some time, maybe take an hour, take take 30 minutes. But I want you to write down what it is. Write down what has you. Write down who has you. Write down what's hurting you. And I want you to fill that in. But more importantly, what you're going to do is you're going to share that with your success coach. Now, I'm going to identify with your success coaches in a second on the next slide. But you need to write this down. This is your first piece of homework. If you're brand new, you need to write out your why. Now, having said that, let's go to step two. Step two is this. Be coachable. This is the second ingredient. Now, I, I told you you're going to be assigned a success coach. And your success coach is here to assist you. I mean, Miss Greer, they're here to assist you. Uh, they're here to uh, uh, help you. Now, the great thing about it is they're going to model and be the example. They're going to be the example and they're going to model it for you. What do I mean? They're not going to ask you to do anything they won't personally show you how to do. You know, they're, they're going to show you how to do it. And that's refreshing. It's like a, it's like a, 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 a trainer. Guess what? When you go to the gym, you got to lift the weights, but they're going to demonstrate and show you before you pick up the first weight. They don't want you to hurt yourself. Well, it's the same way with your success coach. They will demonstrate. They will model. They will show you, Vera, how to be successful. And so what happens is just very similar to that concept. If you take a step, they're going to take two steps. So you got to show up first. You got to come. You got to, you got to show up. Why? But if you take a step, they're going to take two steps. Guys, if you take two steps, guess what? They're going to take five steps. But please listen. If you don't step, we're not going to step. What does that mean? We're here to help you, but we can't do it for you. That, that, that makes sense, right? We, we're here to help you. We want to assist you. We want you to have fun. We want you to assist your goals, but we're not going to do it for you. And Kurt, that's why I see most people, they're like, well, no, no, no. Now, let me explain who your success coach is. If you just got started, you have a person that's called a goal builder in your organization. That means they've empowered at least nine people, and they're a goal builder. You'll see they got penance, and they're the leadership of the company. Well, that's your success coach. What do I mean? You might have had somebody who sponsored you and got you in the business. And they may have got you in the business or introduced the business to you. That's what's called your sponsor. Your sponsor is a person that shared the business with you. Now, your sponsor could be your success coach if they are a goal builder. However, if they're not a goal builder, they're not your success coach, they're your sponsor. And I need you to understand the difference. See, your goal builder is a person that can instruct you and teach you on what to do. Why? Because they've done it. Your sponsor might just got started. So guess what? They're going through the same process. You get to go through it together. Yes, you're going to talk to them. Yes, you're going to encourage, you're going to encourage one another. But your goal builder is your success coach. And I need you to understand that. So what that means is they're the one you're going to go to when you have questions. They're the one who's you're going to go to. If you know, Even though you might be more tempted to call your sponsor, the person that you're going to call, refer to, the person who's going to work you out, the person that's going to assist you is who's your success coach. Now, listen, we will help fight to accomplish your dreams and goals as long as you're willing to. But when you stop, we stop. And, and I, need to, I need you to understand this, guys. It's no different from you hire a trainer. You may pay them, but if you don't show up, guess what? You, you pay for the session, but if you don't show up, they can't help you. you got to show up and participate in your own rescue. Does that make sense? Now, let's quickly move on. The third one is really exciting is you got to be willing to do the work. And work is defined as income-producing activity. We're going to talk about that in a few seconds. Guys, you got you can't do the minimum, expect the maximum. If you go to a bank and try to make a withdrawal where you haven't made a deposit, guys, it's considered robbery. And so you got to be willing to do work, even when you don't feel like it. What is work? Things that will help you make income, things that will help you make money. And so, guys, you're going to have to show up. you got to show up to class in order to go up. Uh, we have national convention. we got regional meetings, conference calls, different things that are designed to help you be successful. Now, let's talk about the system. Now that we gave you the foundation of the three ingredients you need, let's talk about what you need to do. Guys, we have a system in place. And, and, and Karen, you should be so excited because you don't have to reinvent it. The great thing about when you partner up with this business is we already have the tools, the system in place. And system you'll see on the screen is an acronym that stands for Save Yourself Stress, Time, Energy, and Money. Guys, that should take a great weight off of you because you felt that you had to come up with everything. You felt that you had to do everything. But, guys, we've already done it for you. Now, I want to share this with you. It's a quote. It's an African proverb that time to see to I live by. It says that if you want to go fast, go alone. However, if you want to go far, you need to go with a team. See, there's a difference between being system driven and people dependent. And I want to quickly touch on that because most people, when they get involved in the industry, when they get started, they're people dependent. They want to do everything and they don't rely on the system. And so it's defined on the screen. What people dependent means is your people driven means that everything hinges on your involvement.
The meetings that only happen because you do them. The presentations only happen when you present them. Your team only gets trained when you train them. And this is what causes most people to fail. I see it happen time and time again. You know, people get started and they try to do everything. They're not used to having a business, so they're used to being self-employed where they do everything. It, you know, you're the janitor, you're the beauty, you do it all. And so most people have a self-employed mentality, but this is a business. When you're a business, you operate systems. And so having said that, guys, when you're system-driven, this thinking is everything that you do must be scalable. Everything you do can be copied. Everything you do can be duplicated to the masses. And if you're taking notes, I want you to write this down, Kaya. I want you to understand that good doesn't count, only duplication does. What does that mean? You might have a certain skill set. You might work at a radio station and say, you know, I have the ability to put a radio, a radio. But if other people can't do what you do, it's good, but it doesn't count because it's not duplicatable. And so, guys, we want you to don't do what works, do what duplicates. A lot of people are looking to do fancy things. They do what works, but they don't do what duplicates. And so this is going to allow your organization to grow. When you are system dependent, your organization will grow exponentially because now what's happening is you're plugged into the system. And so your people are going to do what you do. They're going to plug into the system. Now, I know you're just getting started. You haven't maybe sponsored your first person yet, but I need you to have the thinking of what we're going to do. We're going to help you develop a system mindset. Now, what does that mean? You rely on the system as the infrastructure. You rely on the system. So there's meetings that are set up across the country. And guess what? You don't have to create the meeting. You just get to plug into the meeting. There are presentations. Your success coach will do your first presentation for you. Well, what if I don't live in the same state? They'll do a webinar. Just like we're doing now, imagine you invited the people to your home and they did the presentation for you. The trainings, all you got to do is plug in. We have trainings in your back office. We have trainings. You don't have to try to reinvent it. Plug into it. And when you do this and then you get the people that you bring in to do the same thing, here's what you know. It's predictable. Number two, Rashana, it's reliable. Number three, it's profitable. But number four, it's effective. Does that make sense? Well, guys, now that we let's get let's get started. Now let's go over the system. Now I'm only going to cover two of these for the sake of time today. But this is going to be really good. So you're just getting started, so I'm gonna, I want you to take a screenshot. The first thing is you want to get excited. In, in the system, what's the system? Number one, get excited. Number two, you're going to make a list. Number three and four, you're going to book a private business reception. You're going to do that with your success coach. And you're going to do that after making your list. Number four, you're going to have a private launch call. And you're going to do that after making your list. Number five, you're going to attend the business briefing in your local market. So if you just got started, you need to put it on your calendar. If you can't make it, if you can't make it this week, uh, you're going to go next week. But you need to set time aside to go to the weekly briefing. Number six, any training and events, you want to plug into training events. There's going to be webinars, calls. Now, what if your focus is I want to book travel? You, you sat through this, but you said I really want to focus on travel. Guess what? You still want to plug into the events. You want to plug into the DreamMaker events that IntelliTravel does. You want to plug into the webinars that they do. You want to plug into the calls. It doesn't really matter whether you're doing planning marketing or IntelliTravel. This part, you want to do these same steps. Well, I just want to book travel. You still got to let people know that you have, you're in a travel business, so you still want to have a private business reception. You still want to have a private launch call to let people know. But Number seven, you want to attend the corporate convention. So these are the things we're going to talk about. I'm going to go over one and two for you. And the first thing I want you to understand is this, Judy, is you got to get excited. I know you just got started, and I know you think, okay, I got to learn everything, Amy. But I want you to understand you got to get excited. See, most people say they're excited, but when you talk to them, you never know because they, they talk monotone. They say, I just got started in this business, and they're scared because they're so scared of rejection. But what I need you to understand is you got to be excited. You got to be passionate. You got to be enthused. Now, what happens is they really don't come across when they're talking to their family and friends because they say, "Oh, I got to talk to the people I know. I, I did that before. It doesn't work." Uh, well, guys, listen to me. This is a relationship business, and I'm not saying there are not other methods. I'm not saying there are not other techniques, things that we can show you. But if you don't try to reinvent the system, don't try to change the system. Just follow the system. And so people don't come across as passionate, fired up about their business. But, guys, understand we are in the people. If, you, if you're doing the marketing side, we're in the people attraction business. We're looking for people who want to own their own franchise. So if you're not exuding with passion, if you don't have excitement, why would anyone else want to do what you're doing? And so what I want to do, I want to paint a quick picture. I'm just going to pick a name, uh, 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 Dolores, but I want you to imagine. I want you to imagine, uh, you, you you know, you got started, you followed your success coach, you did all the things you was asked to do. And let's say 12 months down the road or maybe 18 months down the road, your, your business took a turn. I mean, you you sponsored some sure enough uh, uh, amazing individuals. If you can imagine with me for a second, guys, you, you have a team of, of, of 10,000 people now. 
you know, you're making more income in a month than you used to make that you're currently making on your job in a year. You full time. I want you to imagine, if you would, with me, that, you know, even your giving, if you go to church, you're giving, you're giving more in your tithes and offerings than you used to make. Guys, your life is totally changed for the better. I want you to understand, you don't just have one property. You got multiple properties. You got three or four homes around the world. You know, you take vacations. See, so you go to the most lavish destinations on Wednesday and Thursday. When everybody else at work in cubicles, you, you, you live in a dream life. You get to come and go as you please. Guys, think about this. You, you, you know, when you go to the restaurant, you get to read the menu the way it's supposed to be read. Uh, imagine you take hey, your whole family, you just get to pick up the check. It don't matter what they order, but you know you got enough money. It doesn't matter. When you go shopping, you get to have that Michael Jackson experience. You just get to go, so let me have two of those and three of those. You don't look at the price. Can, can you see your life turn out like that? Can you see being a pillar of your community? Can you see giving to an organization or giving to charities? So see, see if, if that was your life, how would you how would you feel right now? Imagine you having no debt. Imagine you being totally debt free for your children. Imagine you being able to pay for your children's college education with a stroke of a check. Imagine you being able to give money away, help people get into homes. Can you imagine that? Well, see, guys, we want you to genuinely get excited about your future success. In other words, act and feel presently how you see yourself living in the future. See, when you think about your future and where you're going, it'll help you have that maniac work ethic. It'll help you do the work. See, when you catch fire, people want to come watch you burn. But what I mean is when you're excited, it's not really what you say as much as how you say what you say. Having said that, let's quickly move on. Uh, having said that, the next step is you need to make a list. Step number two is you need to make a list. And you want to make a minimum of 100 names. Again, the key word is minimum. It doesn't mean that you have to stop at 100. You can go to 150. You can go to 200. The more names you come up with, the better. But you want to have no less than 100. And so what's going to happen is you're gonna, your, your list is what you call your inventory list. Your list is your list of resources. And what this is is comprised of people who you know as well as people who know you. But I want to challenge you, just getting started, I want to challenge you, Deborah. don't make the mistake of leaving someone off your list. The reason why, what hinders most people is they prejudge. They think they know who will do it, they think they know who won't do it, and they say, well, my friends won't do it, they wouldn't be interested in that like that. And I just want to tell you something I've learned over the years, is the ones you think will be interested, won't. And the ones you think will, the least ones you think they won't be interested, they will. And, and you don't want to have that feeling that you walk in a, in, in a, in a room and, and this person that you know, they may be even a family member, but you, you was in the business, you never said anything to them. And they partnered with somebody else, and they go on, and you see them walking across the stage, and somebody else is earning a compensation from you. It, it's going to be a feeling that I don't want you to have. So, guys, right now, everybody you know, don't prejudge anybody, right? Let give, let them let them disqualify themselves, but at least let them know about it. See, be a friend. Take it off your conscience. You, you want to take it off your conscience and say, hey, listen, I don't want you to say as my friend, why didn't you tell me? They could tell you no, but give them the option. But write them down. So we're going to have you use a memory jogger. Now, your success coach can provide for you a memory jogger, or I can give you another tool. You can go to Google. If you type in the word memory jogger, it'll come up, want to come up. But the memory jogger will help you think about people who you've forgotten over the years. And so what I'm going to do is just give you a quick synopsis. If you have a pen and paper, you can just get started, Deborah. Uh, uh, Erica, you can get started because what happens is you're brand new. I don't know if you are, but I'm just calling names. But most of the people we invited on this webinar were the people who just got started. They, 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 they just partnered up in the business. And so as a result, we noticed you just get started. That's why we did this initial first uh, uh, webinar for you to get you off to a fast start. So here's your second. Your first homework was to write out your why. The second thing you need to do is begin to comprise a list. And I'm going to help you get started. Number one, what you want to do is you want to write down, when I uh, go over this kind of list, what you want to do is you want to begin to put people's name down who come to your mind. As they come to your mind, just write their name down. Don't worry about trying to put their number. Don't worry about trying to write their email address. Just just write their name. Now, they could apply for more than one thing, but once you write their name, don't write it twice. So what that means is ask yourself, who do I know who loves to travel? See, somebody comes to your mind. Maybe they, they took a cruise. Maybe when you went traveling, you met them traveling. Maybe you met them on the plane. Uh, maybe they work in sales and, and they're traveling for work. They travel for business. They travel for pleasure. But who do you know who loves to travel? And you're not limited to one person. Everybody you think of who loves to travel, write their name down. Now, another thing that I want to ask you, who do you know who's currently in network marketing? They may be involved in another comp company. Maybe you've heard of Anway, or maybe you have a friend who's in Mary Kay. Maybe you have a friend who's in a company called TLC or uh, World Ventures or uh, 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 Body by V. I mean, there's so many companies out there by Salas, uh, uh, Momentus. See, as you think about it, who gave you those cards? Write their name down. Who do you know? Who comes to mind when I say who loves to make money? I mean, they, uh, they, this is a person that you think you think they love to hustle. I mean, they're they always looking for the next thing. They love to make money. 
Likewise, who do you know who loves to save money? They're always looking for a hookup. They love to, you know, they cut coupons. I mean, they love to save money. Now, as you're thinking about this, let me ask you while you're writing, who do you know who's the most ambitious person you know? I mean, or who do you know who has the, um, maybe they went back to school to try to better themselves. They always attended classes or seminars. They're always, they're looking to better themselves. They're just ambitious. They have an outgoing look on life. Also, who do you know who has an amazing personality? I call them the Pied Piper, meaning if something's going on in the city or something's going on, you can, you can call them. They can get you tickets. I mean, they know everybody. They're a social butterfly. They're, they're the social elite. Who's that person that you know? Now, who do you know who speaks multiple languages or speaks a different language? Who do you know who speaks Spanish? Maybe they speak French. Maybe they speak Russian, Italian. Maybe they do sign language. I don't know. Maybe you know somebody at your church that does sign language. See, you just thought about somebody, right? Who, who write their name down? Who do you know who's open to business opportunity? What do I mean? Guys, they, they, they're always looking for something. You know, they may have been in more than one company. That's not a bad thing. It just means they're looking for opportunity, looking for the right thing. Let me ask you a question. Jerry, who, who's your neighbor? Who's your neighbor where you live at right now? Who's your neighbor on the right? Mm -hmm. Who's your neighbor who lives on the left? You say, well, I don't know my neighbors. Well, guess what? You need to go get your, meet, meet your neighbors. They live right next door to you. Go meet them. But how long have you been living where you live at now? Where did you live before that? Okay, who's your neighbor on the right in your previous address? Who's your neighbor on the left? If you live in an apartment, who's your neighbor above you? Who's your neighbor beneath you? So guys, guess what? Who do you know who's a single parent? I bet you know several of them. Maybe it's a single parent dad. Maybe it's a single parent mom. I mean, a mother who's a single parent. Maybe it's a grandparent who the, who the children are, in, but they're taking care of the kids. Who do you know who's who's raising the kids by themselves? Did you go to school? Where did you go to college at? Let me ask you a question. Did you stay on campus? If you stayed on campus, who's your fr who's your roommate? How about your freshman year? Did you have the same roommate your sophomore year? Oh, you had multiple roommates? Write their names down. Oh, while you was in college, did you participate in any activities? Were you involved in any organizations? Oh, you, you pledged in a sorority or fraternity? Oh, really? How many people was on your line with you? Tell me all eight of them. Tell me all, who, who were they? Oh, you, you, you was an SGA. Who, who was your cabinet? Oh, you played basketball. Who was your team? See, guys, there are people that you know. Oh, you have children. Let me ask you a question. How old are your children? You have an 11-year-old? Oh, you have a 15-year-old? Well, let me ask you this. Who's their best friend? Well, who's their parents? Oh, let me ask you. Who's your child's teacher? Oh, they have multiple teachers. Who are they? Who's their principal? Who do you know who goes to a gym? Who do you know who's a trainer? Who do you know who drives an SUV? Who do you know who drives a Mercedes? Who do you know who drives a Lexus? Who do you know who's a real estate agent? Who's a real estate broker? Who's your beautician? Who's your barber? Who's a model? See, guys, you get the point. Well, all I was doing was jogging your memory, helping you think. I know you're like, slow down. Wait a minute. Guys, I just wanted to get you started, right? For the sake of time, again, get with your success coach. They can help you. But, guys, um, when you do this, you're going to think, you know, the average 25-year-old, according to USA Today, knows over 1,000 people. Don't worry about trying to see. Most people, this is the part. They don't do step one. They don't make the list. And because they don't make the list, they can't go any further. They, 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 and so if you just be coachable, I said you got to be coachable, right? And you got to do the work. This is the part. Can you make a list? A minimum of 100 names. Now, what I often ask people, I often ask people, I say, are you competitive? And they tell me, yeah, I'm competitive. And I always say, well, listen, Amy, the, 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 the record is 125. Can you beat it? Now, I've had people, honestly, Amy, I've had people who made a list of 300 people. I've had people who made a list of 500 people. So, but I don't want to intimidate anybody. So, I normally just use an average number about 125. And I say, can you beat it? I did this a couple of days ago when I was in Oklahoma last week. And when I did this, the young lady did her list and she came up with over 200 names. What's the point? I don't want to limit you to just 100 when you can do more. But no less than 100. Fair enough? Now, now that you know how to make your list, let's grade your list. This is your homework. You made your list, but the second part, you got to grade your list. What does grade your list mean? What it means, Amy, is you got to ask whoever that person on your list. Let's say the first person on your list was a person named Stacy. Well, when I asked you this question, I said, well, Stacy have children? If you say yes, she would get a point. I said, well, Stacy a homeowner? You said yes. They live at home. You say yes. Is Stacy over the age of 25? Yes. That's a point. Is Stacy married? Yes. That's a point. It's, it's, when I say professional, that means are they currently employed or are they self-employed? Do they have income coming into the household? If they're married, well, she's not working, but he is. Or he's not working, but she is. As long as they're married and somebody's got income coming, give them a point. Are they successful? Successful means do they have influence and credibility? So you see the acronym in orange, CHAMPS. The C stands for children. The H stands for homeowner. The A stands for age 25 and older. The M stands for they're married or in a meaningful relationship. 
The P stands for professional, employed, earning over, uh, uh, employed or self-employed. The S stands for successful, and that means they have influence and credibility. Grade your list. Now, guys, again, you're going to make your list. You're going to come up with hundreds of names, but you're going to give it to a success coach. And what they're going to do is help you take this list, and then they're going to help you narrow it down. Because what we're going to look for initially is your board of directors. We're going to have 100, 200 names, but we're going to isolate your list and focus on maybe your top 25. Again, you can't focus on 100 people at one time. You can't focus on 150 people at one time, but you can narrow it down, and you and your success coach can focus on helping you a con, you know, your top 25. But let me kind of share some character traits that you're not looking for. And the reason I'm doing this is because when we say put together a board of directors, imagine you're the, you're the CEO of your company. So who's your CFO? Who's your CIO? I mean, if you're putting together a basketball team, who's your center? Who's your power forward? Who's your shooting guard? You get the point. If you're putting together a band, you know, who, who's your uh, 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 keyboard? Who's your uh, bass? Who's your sax? Who's your background singers? See, you got to look for somebody who can't sing and invite them to be a part of your band. You got to look for somebody who can't play. So these are the character traits you're not looking for. You're not looking for people who are passive, indecisive. Candace, you're not looking for people who are selfish or wishy-washy. Rhonda, see, you're not looking for people who are already closed-minded or have an employee mentality. Stacey, you're not looking for people who are cynical, not ready to act. You're not looking for people who have low self-esteem. See, guys, what the reason people get frustrated is because they spend their time talking to the wrong person. But in fact, what you're doing is thinking about who do I know who already has high self-esteem? Who do I already know who's goal-driven, entrepreneurial? Who do I know who is already aggressive and has a business minded business mind? Who do I know who's competitive? They hate to lose. Who do I know who's ready to act out and decisive? See, guys, if I know what I'm looking for, if I say, well, who do you know who's a mechanic? Then you would look for you would identify a mechanic. If I say, who do you know who speaks Spanish? Then you would identify people. So if you know what you're looking for, it's easy to find. Now, this is a quick review. Like I said, we want to focus on results. In order to grow your business, you got to know your business. Guys, the three ingredients, you got to have a burning desire, be coachable, be willing to work. Uh, when you follow the system, like we said, it's predictable, it's reliable, it's profitable and effective. This is your homework. Write out your why. Once you write out your why, you're going to share this with your success coach. Again, your success coach is your goal builder and hire. They're assigned to you, and they're here to model and be the example for you. Number two, your homework was to make a list, a minimum of 100 names. Use the memory jogger to help you think and then grade your list, right? So you should get back with your success coach with your why, and you should get back with your success coach with your graded list. That's all we're going to do really for tonight. Now, I'm going to make you aware of some tools, but tonight we're going to stop with one and two. And the reason why is I don't want to go any further than one and two is because I could try, I could go over all seven steps, but if I went over all seven steps, it will overwhelm you. But I think this is a good stopping point. But I am going to make you aware of a couple things. See, once you make your list and we grade your list, then we're going to begin to start preparing your prospects to take a look at what you're doing. See, see, understand this is a skill set. Inviting is a skill set. And so what we want to do is get you prepared, but you're not ready right now. All I need you to do is your homework. Now, we're going to give you 48 to 72 hours to make your list. Right? See, if you say it's about winning... You need to make your list. Success loves speed, so you can't take forever. Uh, get with your success coach. Text them and guess what? So if today is Tuesday, by Friday, I'm going to give you to Saturday. Really, no, I'm going to give you to Friday. Right? Thursday or Friday, you need to get back with your success coach. You need to have your why. You need to have your list. But understand this. We're going to show you how to prepare. Like I said, we're not going to ask you to do anything we won't show you. So before you call anybody, please listen to me. Just make your list. Don't call a person. There are other things that you can do in the meantime to educate yourself. There's some things I'm going to get you plugged in on. But don't call anybody. If you're brand new, listen to me. Why? Because you're going to go out there and try to call somebody. You're going to call them. You don't, you're not prepared. You're not equipped. We hadn't taught you what to say. We hadn't shown you anything. You're going to talk to them. You're going to talk to the wrong person. You're going to get discouraged, and you're going to say it don't work. You're going to talk to the wrong person who's about to discourage you and rob you of your dream. You're excited about being able to travel. You're excited about being able to save on your team. You're, you're excited. So that's why we're using this orientation to equip you and train you just to get you started, to let you know that you're in business for yourself and not by yourself. And see, guys, as a professional, you, you're only going to be doing two things. You're going to be inviting people to take a look at a tool or attend an event. So I'm just giving you a short overview of what's going to happen when we go to step two. And so having said that, guys, step two, what we're going to do, we're not going to go over tonight, but we're going to help you launch your business. But listen to me. Remember, step two said uh, you're going to do a PBR, a private launch call, three to five days. That's after you finish your list. See, when you come back, the reason why you need to finish your list is because Thursday, now we're going to set up your private business reception. On Thursday, we're going to set up your private launch call. On Thursday, we're going to set up your private online webinar with your leader. 
But you, we can't set it up if you hadn't done the first part. If you hadn't done a list and you hadn't done the why, we can't go to step two. You got to do step one before we can go to step two. I told you earlier, if you take a step, we'll take two steps. I told you earlier, if you take two steps, we'll take five steps. But if you don't step, we don't. We can't step. So it's so important, guys, that you're coachable. You just do the basics that we ask you to do. Again, so your homework, again, order the book, go pro. That's the other one. Order the book, go pro. Order that book. Number two, write out your why, and you're going to share it with your success coach. Number three, make your list. That's it. That's all That's all you got to do, those three things. And now, what I would encourage you to do is text your leader and find out their availability. Find out when they're available to help you go over your list, right? Because so I, I, I got you started. But once you get back together on Thursday, and we're going to have another webinar to go to step two. But and this is recorded, so if somebody missed it, you can, you, you'll can you be able to send it to them. But what I want you to understand is, guys, we're going to help you launch your business. We're going to help you go to being a professional. But we're not. But you got to do the list first. Now, after you've done the list, within three to five days, we're going to help you do your private business reception. Why? Because if you've got 100 names, we've got somebody to invite. And guess what? The ones that can't make it to your home, we're going to do a launch call. Guess what? We're going to do an online webinar. We're going to showcase your business. We're going to go help you get through your whole list in a short period of time. But you've got to make the list. Does that make sense? So what I want to let you know on your website, remember I said study your, your online website. You have a sizzle video. Watch that so you can see what it is. Go to your website. You have a nine-minute video that gives you an overview of your business. Watch it. I didn't, again, don't call nobody. Don't try to explain the business to anybody. Just watch those tools. And also, one other thing, go order your mobile app. So, 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 so I'm clear. I'm going to give you one more review, one more time. The first thing you want to do, the first thing you want to do is write out your why. You're going to share with your success coach. The second thing you're going to do is you're going to make your list, right? You're going to review your website. But the most important thing, order the book, go pro, and get the mobile app. So when we get ready to start on step two, we start showing you how to contact the people, you will have this tool in place. So go to your back office and also purchase the app. Now, having said that, what I want to do is invite you tomorrow to join us on a morning call. You're brand new, and so if you're available, if you're not working, if, now if you're working at 8 o'clock, you can't make it. Why? Because you're at work, but we do have a playback. Uh, I do apologize. This is the wrong flyer, but it's Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. So I updated, but Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. But the number is on the screen. It's 641-715-3610. And the PIN number is 377-045. I just want to know, can you, if you are able, I want you to dial into tomorrow's call. Put this phone, put this number in your, in your phone. And I want you to dial in tomorrow at 8 a.m. Dial in about three or four minutes early. And I want you to participate in tomorrow's call. Now, what, what do you want to do? When you get on the call, text your success coach and let them know you're on the call, right? Just text them. Say, I'm on the call. Another tool that I want you to listen to in the meantime, I don't want you to call nobody, but I want you to listen to this on-demand call. This is at your own leisure. Nothing major. Just when you get a chance to listen to it. This is by the founder of the company, Mr. Donald Bradley, Mr. Andy Kaufman, our president and CEO, and Mr. James Farrar. Who better to explain the business than these individuals? I don't want you to call anybody, but I do want you to listen to the tool. And then also we have a, a, a tool on Sunday. Last but not least, this is the last thing we're going to start with. Everything I went over is on our team mobile app. And so on the mobile app, uh, if you do a text message, what you want to do is go to your phone and type in um, Planet Marketing. Or No, let me back up. Let me do it this way. Give me one second. Uh, give me one second. I'm going to actually change the screen for you and uh, give you a different slide. I'll show you how to do it. So, okay, so here you go. So, what you want to do is you want to go to a blank text message. And on a blank text message, and where you type in the number, 40691. Number two, you want to go to the bottom of the screen, and you want to type in the word planet, P-L-A-N-E-T. Hit send. When you hit send, it's going to send you a message saying, do you want to push yes? And then it's going to send you a response message with that the link that you see up top, top, up top HTTP dot bitly. That's the link it's going to give you. Click on that link, link, and the mobile app is going to open up. So, having said that, if your phone doesn't take short code, if you're putting this number in but it's not coming back or sending you a message, just go and take this link right here, bit dot ly forward slash planet marketing, and put that in. But guys, this is everything I went over is right here. So even if you was taking notes and you missed some of it. Everything I shared is right here on this mobile app. So, guys, we're going to stop right here. I'm going to hit the um, stop record button. 
Um, this is going to conclude tonight's webinar right at 45 minutes. Well, one, one minute over, but I, I want to do it for 45 minutes. Just give you a short overview. This is just step one. Now, everybody who participated, your name is sent me an email. And so I'm going to actually send you an email letting you know we're going to do step two. But we're not going to go to step two. Do you do step one? So everybody on the webinar, I want you to do your list. I want you to write out your why, share with your success coach, order the book Go Pro, order the mobile app, and finish your list and set up a time with your success coach so they can go over your list. Again, don't call anybody, but you can listen to the calls, uh, get on the morning call. That's the stuff you need to do until we get back together. But other than that, guys, you have an amazing night. We want to thank you so much for your time. Again, uh, we really appreciate you, and we'll see you at the top because you deserve to be there. God bless you.